All right, how's everyone doing? I am Rich Chalenza. Thanks for checking out my show. So what I'm going to get into on this podcast is not allowing people to put you down. I guess I would word it that way more than any other way. And the reason I want to bring this up is because I try to help men and women actually with their confidence. And I think a lot of times we allow others, including ourselves, to put ourselves down. Not a little, but a lot. Uh, A lot of times when I'm trying to help men with confidence, I think I run across, and women, did I say women? Anyways, either one is they had to deal with being bullied. And I have a theory on being bullied. And I think most people throughout their life were bullied in one way or another. How they handled it, you know, is entirely up to them. But I do think a lot of people think they were the only ones who got bullied because maybe you were in a classroom and I'm not saying that other people don't get bullied more than others. But I think throughout our lives, in certain situations, we were bullied. Even the ones that you don't think were bullied. They could have been bullied um, you know, amongst their siblings, their family members, uh, different types of groups that they were in that you don't know about. People may, made fun of them. But a lot of people were in environments where people made fun of them or you know, try to you know, make them feel bad or push them around. Even the toughest guys, even if you're an athlete, I talk about a lot of times, you know, you think sometimes with jocks and stuff that they don't get bullied, right? Don't be surprised that like their coach or their trainer or their other, you know, uh, teammates don't bully them either. And a lot of times there is a fine line between being bullied, I talk about, or people trying to inspire you to do better. So there is that kind of fine line. And I've discussed that previous in podcasts, but What I want to talk about today really is about not allowing others to put you down. Now, here's the thing, too, I will talk about because I have a lot of friends and we're all cracking on each other constantly. If it's not on a text, it's when we're having cigars or having a drink. We all make fun of one another, right, with our friends and we get it. Nothing, you know, nothing sometimes is funnier than making fun of others, but when it's in good taste, right, also not going too far overboard. I think because I think sometimes when we do make fun of others, um, or maybe you're getting made fun of, sometimes it gets to be too much and it starts to become hurtful, which is understandable. But I do think a lot of times when people make fun of us, we learn about that. Like people may say things about us that we're like, holy shit, is that how people perceive us? I don't want to be perceived that way. Or maybe they're right. I have been lazy or maybe, hey, I am a little bit overweight or hey, you know, maybe I am talking too much all the time. Hey, maybe I am too loud. Hey, maybe I'm too arrogant. Or, hey, you know, maybe whatever it is. Um, But here's the deal with all this. I mean, put all that aside. I I think, you know, a lot of times we do allow others to put us down, maybe in our relationships. So husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriends, whatever, uh, straight, gay, whatever. I think sometimes we start to allow somebody to constantly throw digs at us. And again, if it's for fun, it's for fun. I get it. But a lot of times it doesn't, it's not fun anymore. But what happens I see a lot of times is somebody throwing digs at somebody and then the other person kind of throwing digs back. And before you know it, it kind of becomes part of your persona where it's, you're kind of always, you know, kind of hurting each other's feelings. And I get sometimes, you know, we, we are going to get in arguments and we're going to say things that we don't always mean because let's face it, words hurt call it for what it is. But I do think a lot of times we need to take a step back and say, you know what, instead of saying something negative towards this person today, why don't I say something positive and flipping it and then continuously saying something positive. Now, if you don't have anything to say positive about whoever you're with, what the hell are you doing with them? I'm just saying they can't be always, you can't always be negative. And this goes for your friends as well. You know, a lot of times I love complimenting people. I don't care if it's the way they look or whatever. And believe me, I throw digs too. I'm by, by all means, I goof around sometimes maybe too much with my, say my mother, I may say something and I don't even mean it to hurt her, but I mean it to be funny and it hurts her. So, but you know, I try to compliment a lot of my family members, colleagues I work with. I am not out to hurt anyone. If I do get aggravated and I think they're doing maybe something stupid, a friend, family member, and I get in an issue, then I'll just address that issue. But for the most part, I want to build them up. I do not want to break them down. And I don't think I was always that way. I'll be very honest with you. I think a lot of times I was more verbal, I can't say verbally abusive all the time, but I, I thought by kind of telling people certain things would kick them in the ass to motivate them. It could be even my children. 
you know, I was kind of the best of times and then maybe sometimes the worst because I wanted them to really become something amazing. And with both of them having health issues, I didn't want to show weakness. And I'm not, to be honest, I'm not a very sympathetic person at times. I, I'm not even a very loving person, but I do, I guess, express my love in different ways. And if you know me, that's probably how you're going to see, probably see me. And, uh, you know, when it comes again to letting people put you down, you got to have self-respect for yourself. You know what I mean? You have to respect yourself, your body, your mind. Don't let people make you feel like shit. Do not give them that, you know, that, uh, that opportunity. You know, if somebody is talking down to you all the time, stand up for yourself. That doesn't mean you have to lash out and start, you know, bum wrapping them or kind of trash talking them back or just because they said something hurtful, you're saying something hurtful. You may just have to stand up for yourself and say, listen, I, you know, you, you said these other things. I, they were funny, but now I don't find them that funny. Or you keep saying things that I'm not very appreciative of. You know, you have to address these things because I believe it has an impact on us. And I also think a lot of times the way we think, like I said previously about ourselves, and I go through this, a lot of times I have days where I'm like, man, you, you know, when is this going to happen? Why is this taking so long? You failed at this. You shouldn't have done this this way. Why do you keep doing that? Like what, you know, we have all that. I get it. But if you're somebody who is always making yourself feel horrible or making yourself feel unworthy of certain things, you know, it's, it's going to be a long road. Now you can do whatever the hell you want to do. You know, you live your own life. You're inside your own head. I can't tell you how to really, at the end of the day, how to feel. That's ridiculous. But I do think by maybe, you know, making yourself feel better instead of worse. And one thing I do talk about too is not giving yourself a pass a lot of times where a lot of people do become very lazy, especially with their health and wellness. And they're kind of like, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't want you to necessarily do that either. Because I do think there's a fine line between like just letting everything go. And that could be your finances and everything. Um, but just think about these things. That's the only reason I want to do a podcast on this. And I want you to stand up for yourself. And a lot of times you may, again, I will wrap it up with this. You may come across people that are going to bully you. That may be bigger, faster, stronger than you. And it's hard. I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of times you hear, you know what, stand up to the bully. And you're only going to have to stand up to him once. And then most likely they're going to go away. Sometimes you stand up to the bully and you get your ass kicked too, right? You may even get your ass kicked by their friends as well. It's not as always as easy as you think, especially if you go to school with these people when you're younger, I should say, or maybe you're in certain neighborhoods where it's not easy to sometimes fight against the bully or the bullies, I should say. But I do think you have to, one way or another, figure out a way to stand up for yourself and also understand, sometimes you may be in an environment where a lot of people are bullying you. Let's get the hell out of that environment. Because sometimes, no matter how big or tough you are, you know, you have a group of bullies. There's, you know, in the numbers game, if it's just you and you're against five guys all the time, that's not going to work out. This ain't the karate kid type of bullshit I'm telling you right now. You need to protect yourself, stand up for yourself. And at the same time, you don't want to hurt yourself. All right. And that does not by any means am I asking you to back down from anybody. But I definitely don't want you to think sometimes that, you know, going up against other people that can definitely hurt you, you know, and if, you know, it's, it's just a fine line there between hurting yourself, hurting others and all these different types of things. But I definitely don't want you to allow people to hurt you or bully you if possible, all right? Especially verbally. I think words is usually catching a beating heels a lot of times, I used to say. You know, you could catch a beating from someone or get in a fight and it's kind of over. But, you know, after a long period of time, it could be weeks, months, or years, somebody or others constantly making you feel like shit or talking shit about you, it's going to have a profound effect on you most likely, you know? And you know what? Also, I will officially wrap it up with this. Learn how to be a little more thick-skinned. I'm just telling you, I think people overreact. A lot of people say things to others and they make a big deal out of it. I don't know why, but you know, sometimes by doing that, people are just going to do it even more. You got to be a little thick-skinned to also take the hit once in a while. Just saying. All right, you got any questions or comments, please feel free to hit me up. I'm at richchalenza.com. Uh, I try to help men and women, like I said earlier, with confidence. And uh, I have a program, actually, Mastering Self-Confidence. Uh, and if you have any questions, you know, questions regarding that, please feel free to hit me up. Take care.